In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to live stream using a $200, I mean, it's around $200, $230 mini PC. And of course, we're gonna be using OBS. Now, as you can see on my screen right now, I'm actually live on YouTube. And the feed I'm getting is actually coming from this mini PC. The mini PC that I'm using is called Camry mini PC. And I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like here on Amazon. Basically, it comes in different uh options but the one that i have is this one right here which is camry um uh, mini pc now the processor uh mine i think this is an upgraded version but for me the processor that i have is n95 okay and then i have 16 gig of ram and i have 512 giga uh, gigabyte uh of ssd now I'm gonna show you with the mini PC that I have again, you can upgrade, you can add another SSD drive if you wanna add more. And this is gonna be useful if you need more storage. And actually even the RAM, I believe you can still upgrade it, but I'm not gonna get into it because at the end of the day, we're trying to save money here. So usually 16 gig of RAM should be enough, should be more than enough when you're using OBS uh, for live streaming. This type of PCs, they don't have any a dedicated graphics card so we're gonna be using the actual graphics card that comes with the mini pc and it does actually work now i've been testing it it's been over three hours now live streaming to youtube using obs i'm live streaming in full hd 1080p and uh so far i'm sending 10 megabits per second of bit rate uh, no drop frames so far everything looks good the only thing that i've seen actually was just the cpu keeps going up and down as i live stream and we're gonna get into that but to be honest with you guys i was super super skeptical when i started testing this mini pc but it looks like it can actually do the job so let's not take much time let's actually get right into it i'm gonna show you everything i need to know if you're interested in streaming using something like this what is going on guys my name is sam you're watching our production tips and tools helping you master live streaming so when it comes to live stream using uh installed applications usually like obs uh, vmix streamlabs by the way i did test streamlabs as well uh usually you need a super powerful computer to be able to do this kind of live streaming or if you don't want to get a super rough computer you need to get a software like Streamyard that they will be using a browser instead of having it installed on your computer however when i got this mini pc it actually was sent to me maybe two years ago a year ago i actually get the lower version of it which is like uh i think I had a gig same thing but a gig uh less storage and that one i tried it it didn't work in fact that's the one that i used to run if you can see on my screen in my background i have it on the back of that monitor and i just use it to run that screen server just for the sake of having a cool looking background so that's how i use that little mini pc in general there's some other mini pc that will be uh, a size of something like this like a usb stick right that you can use those to do like you know if you want to do like uh, i don't know a slideshow that you want to have on a big screen displaying things like that you can actually use to uh you know they will cost like a hundred dollars 150 dollars you can use for lighter tasks or maybe for browsing or doing like working on excel sheets and stuff like that however when it comes to live streaming you really need something that's a little more powerful so that's why when i saw this mini pc it's, it's only uh 230 dollars which is really not a lot i was like maybe let me try it maybe it could be something that especially people on a budget could actually try and see if they can use it uh me included to live stream also another thing is like if you don't have it, a laptop and it happens that you gonna be traveling right you could this is something that you can actually throw in your bag and maybe uh, get another portable monitor have a small setup where you can actually have a mini pc and a small uh you know a small monitor and be able to go live no problem so that's why i wanted to test it really with obs so guys uh this is what we have right now okay as you can see this is what the mini pc looks like i tried to super like test it um i added many scenes so as you can see i have an intro scene here which is this one and i have 
um i try to add as many sources as i mean not many as many as possible but i try to really add a lot of sources to kind of stress test it a little bit right again most people maybe not gonna need all the stuff that i added but my intro scene as you can see it's an overlay it's a countdown timer it's a video playing back for five minutes and i've got some um background music as well playing there and then on the top of that i have the main uh scene which is i've got my 4k webcam coming in my um asbat tiny 2 okay it's a 4k camera but i'm using the 1080p option and i've got uh, my roadcaster duo that's connecting this microphone so that's how i'm sending audio to that uh, and I have audio capture, da, 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 video capture device, and then I have an overlay on the top of that, which is another video kind of playing back in loop, right? So as you can see, it's a heavy uh, kind of scene. And I created another scene that's exactly the same thing, copy paste. However, I added a different overlay. So like all this stuff that I did was really to try to stress the uh, CPU and the actual mini PC really to see what we can get out of it how much like when is it going to crack right so and then we we have a brb scene this is another scene it's just a video uh playing back you know uh in, in loop and of course i've got my microphone there and i've got some background music as well there which is awesome and then i've got my ending soon scene so as you can see really uh it's a typical show maybe if i had guest on i would add maybe another guest scene or if I had something else, maybe some comments on screen and stuff like that. But those are not going to make a huge impact really uh, to the performance of the PC. So as you can see, this is what I have. And on the top of that, as you can see, I'm streaming, of course, and I'm streaming uh, in 1080p, 30 frames per second, and I am recording at the same time. Now, you have to be careful. I didn't record like the same feed that's going to the stream is that feed that I'm actually recording. So I'm not upscaling it or downscaling it or trying to maybe send 720p and then record in full HD or, you know, like I'm trying to, I took the copy of what's going on stream and I recorded it. Even the bit rate is the same. Now, if you try to, if you start changing stuff, so if I go to settings here, just want to show you a little quick. If I go to settings here and I go to uh, output, right? So as you can see, I'm using the video encoder is X264, all right, which is the actual graphics card uh, that comes with the computer. And um, I'm using for recording, I'm recording exactly the same thing. So I'm using the same encoder and what's going to be sent on stream is what I'm recording. Now, most people maybe not gonna be recording and streaming at the same time, but again, I did this because I wanted to kind of prove a point maybe, all right? So everything else, as you can see, I'm streaming in full HD 1080p and my uh, bit rate is uh, 10,000 kbps. Again, this is what's recommended by YouTube. So this is gonna depend mostly on your internet connection, it has nothing to do with the PC. It's going to affect the PC a little bit when it comes to maybe encoding locally on the PC before it actually uploads it to the web. So, so far, again, as you can see, everything works well, no problem. Now, the only issue that, uh, I mean, it wasn't an issue really, I didn't have any problem, but I could see the CPU going up here. So if you see here, again, I did not drop any frames, I uh, didn't have any other, uh, any issue, by the way, okay? Audio is coming through, no problem. But if you go to CPU here, uh, you can see that the CPU keeps going high and high. Uh, of course, like, you know, almost like 100% the CPU usage, right? So I think that's that was the only thing. Also, like usually when you're streaming, especially if you're streaming in CBR, if you have a lot of motion going on, like if I do like stuff like that and I move a lot in the frame, usually it's going to kind of stress the encoder, right? Because there's a lot of movements, a lot of things that it has to Code. so that's where i actually noticed that the cpu usage will actually jump to i think went to around a eight percent okay so this is probably something to be aware of if you're using this type of setup you want to make sure uh maybe either you're not doing too much you know 
maybe like if you're swimming and and recording at the same time maybe try to avoid scenes where you have a lot of movements going on because uh it may actually keep going high and high so as you can see now it's actually at 80 percent and some at some point went to up to 88 okay also like i try to do some other stuff in the background they say if you wanted to preview maybe your video that's live streaming again i try to play back here i just play a youtube video you know something like this i was just a random guy reviewing the the um uh i mean not a random guy but it's just a guy reviewing the mini pc on youtube so i just wanted to see what it's gonna look like if i have some other tasks going on in the background all right so and as you can see it's still actually some other tasks going on in the background they're not affecting the actual performance like the cpu and everything as you can see my cpu went down to 76 percent so again this is not like okay another thing is like it, it's kind of hot right now but it's not super super like it's not overheating so i would encourage you if you're using it maybe to have some like a little fan uh close to it or you know something that would just you know keep it cool or like use it in a place that's not super hot that's another thing because otherwise it's probably gonna overheat right because it's working hard really the processor is working hard and everything is like you know if this thing has 4k by the way it has 4k uh output so it can output to if you have like 4k monitors and stuff like that but again for what i'm testing here i'm using everything in full hd okay so and also like if i go back to my screen here to show you what's happening on youtube you can see that i'm streaming in full hd i didn't have any you know any problem really like everything's coming through so if you ask me my conclusion would it be something to consider for live streaming using obs uh with this little mini pc actually my answer my answer is yes i mean again i've been testing it uh and it works no problem all right again just make sure you watch the cpu usage that's the only thing that I have to you kind of have to look out for uh but other than that um i can to give you the link to the video that i've been streaming for hours uh no problem no issues again i would still think that if you super stress it like if you add some other task on the side and you know doing a lot of things at the same time it's probably not going to handle it but so far for my testing i was able to record live stream run a youtube video in the background which should actually did not affect uh, the uh, pc performance at all and everything looks good so far so yes i would recommend this mini pc for live streaming but other than that if you're looking for this mini pc for any other tasks like you know browsing or working on excel sheets and you know or any other thing that you want to do computer wise i think you'll be uh, it's a little mini pc that you can actually use for many things now if you not a obs user you want to use it for other things like Streamyard, ev max you know like all those web-based apps for live streaming i wouldn't even worry about about it because in my opinion if you can run obs it's gonna be even easier to run those applications like ev max and stuff like that because they running through google chrome another thing like i have a webcam connected to it i have a microphone connected to it i have a mouse and keyboard so like they have a lot of connectivity options so you're not gonna you know have to maybe carry a dock and stuff like that plus if you want to upgrade your storage you have that option to upgrade also like guys if i show you like if i go to this task manager before i end this video you can see that the only thing right now eating up the cpu really is obs running so as you can see sometimes it's actually taking up what 95 percent of the cpu so like that's you can see that obs is taking a lot of you know a lot of space on the cpu okay but still is able to do the job okay so the choice is yours i wanted to show you some facts uh if you do decide to go with it of course i will encourage you to go grab it if you broke if you have a little bit of money maybe you want to buy something that's probably a little better that has a dedicated graphics card kind of built into it and in my next video actually i'm gonna work on another setup that would be kind of like an upgrade from this one that's gonna allow you to probably have more headroom still on budget maybe something around 400 500 
and i'm gonna be making that video so as soon as it's done i'm gonna link it right here but if this is the first time you actually trying to live stream using obs i have another video showing you how to create all the scenes that i've actually created on this mini pc and even add more so basically it's like an obs master class that will show you how to live stream create all the scenes that you need to be able to go live to either youtube or facebook using obs so i'm gonna link the video right here make sure you check it out and i'll see you there guys take care